Steve Sliff here. I survived week one of the FFV KLLM CDL Driving Academy here in Lancaster, Texas. Let me tell you all about it. So yeah, I'm a week one survivor. Um, let me tell you all about it. So anyway, last Sunday, they um, I chose to uh, come up via bus. They paid for my ticket, um, arrived at the bus station here in Dallas uh, from Corpus Christi. I'm from Corpus Christi. And um, they told me to call a taxi number. I called that number. The guy picked me up, took me to the hotel. Um, checked into the hotel about six o'clock at night. Um, it was great. Uh, just had one night there, single occupancy by myself. Uh, I Ubered right down the road to, to grab some dinner and then came back to the hotel. Um, good thing about it was my recruiter told me that uh, Monday morning I'd take the shuttle back to uh, the academy, which is right around the corner, and uh, they would put me up in the dorm. So I'm in a dorm room uh, by myself, uh, single occupancy. I've got my own restroom, have my own TV, uh, get to come and go, it's just like a hotel room. Um, which is really cool. Um, super impressed, super impressed by it. So the whole upstairs is nothing but dorm rooms or hotel rooms, if you want to call it that, um, laundry area. Um, and then downstairs is all the instruction, class instructions, uh, offices, stuff like that. So pretty cool, pretty, uh, pretty neat. I was impressed from the moment I walked in. walked in they told me to put my stuff in a secured hallway because um, you can't have bags here you can't carry around backpacks and stuff like that they're, they're pretty tight on security which is really cool um, and then I went and got some breakfast and started class at seven o'clock day one um, so anyway day one man it is just a bunch of information filling out a bunch of paper getting your stuff ready for your CDL prep test getting your stuff ready for your medical just a bunch of paperwork uh, then you jump in right into getting your medical done uh, for your DOT medical, uh, hair follicle, uh, drug screening, blood pressure, all that good stuff. So um, pretty cool. Um, just a well-oiled machine. I will tell you this, Monday took forever. And they keep saying it, oh, this academy, 22 days, it's gonna go by like a week. And not that Monday, man. That Monday was just 14 hours, it seemed like 16 hours. It was just crazy how long that took. Um, but again, it's a, it's a process. I had to get a bunch of people in. Um, you know, they do this every week. Every Monday, they're starting a new class. So they've got it down like clockwork. But I tell you what, uh, that's just drug on. But it was really cool that we were able to um, get all that cram packed in in day one. So later in the day, you do receive your uh, medical DOT card, which is kind of cool. Um, if you have some issues, they tell you right there. And unfortunately, there was three people in my class that uh, for some reason had some medical issues and uh, didn't continue on. So they had to go to their doctors and get whatever figured out and would have to come back and start again. So make sure that your blood pressure's in check, make sure that um, you're healthy and make sure that if you partied with some drugs or you did some stuff that you're, you're definitely way out of the, the clear zone with your hair follicle. Um, and just be honest with them up front if you're gonna run into any issues. But anyway, day two, we're going to day two. 
day two, day two, day two. So anyway, on day two, um, man, jam-packed learning right away. You just jump right into it. Uh, end of day one, day two, you're right into studying for your CDL prep test. And uh, let me tell you this, if you don't know anything about CDL and your permit, um, and getting your permit, they're gonna guide you right through it. We have a couple of people that do anything. I, on the other hand, was lucky. I started studying about a month before I decided to come to KLLM. Didn't think I was gonna be able to come here and was studying to go to another trucking company. Um, but KLM called me and uh, got our issues worked out. I thought I was out of the uh, hiring area. But anyway, they uh, can pack you with uh, a bunch of stuff. So I came in, CDL prep test, the app. Uh, it's probably on your Google station, I, uh, Apple um, apps. Uh, take download that pay 24 bucks for one month and then cancel your subscription but I tell you what it helped me learn a lot of stuff that I didn't know and it really helped me put all this together when they start uh, bringing it uh, to the classroom so uh, CDL prep test that's an app uh, I'm not endorsed I don't get endorsements or anything like that but it is a great app to uh, to uh, get yourself going for a CDL prep uh, or permit test anyway so day two is just jam-packed, just jam-packed, uh, just a bunch of information. Day three, 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 you are taking your CDL permit test. Um, you got all morning to take it up till lunchtime. Uh, and I tell you what, um, you're prepared, you're ready to go. Um, for some reason, if you don't take it, you do have another chance. There, there's four tests you gotta take. It's the uh, Texas Special Requirements, your air brakes, your general knowledge, and your combination vehicles. So um, anyway, uh, if you miss one of those tests, you can retake it on Thursday. Um, we had a couple people that didn't make it. Fortunately, I made it through. Yay! Because I used the prep test and I studied. Um, but uh, a couple people uh, had to take it the next day, which they did. So anyway, by by the uh, second part of Thursday, um, everybody's getting their CDL permit. Um, you get your DOT card. And you They come in. You put them together. And you have to carry them with you at all times, especially when you're in a vehicle. And by Thursday afternoon, guess what? You're in a semi truck and you're backing up a truck. Um, such a cool experience. I know that everybody's seen trucks. If you haven't been one, I've never been in one. Uh, but if you uh, get out in there and they're, they're just massive, they're just so huge. Uh, you know, you see them go down the road, you see them at gas stations, but when you're in it, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Um, but anyway, so you're off to driving. And uh, every day after that, you were off to driving. So Friday, you're driving a truck, some classroom, uh, more driving, more classroom. Um, and then Saturday's pretty much same thing. Do some classwork and then you're out on the range. Um, their whole job here is to get you to get your CDL in 22 days. You're going to learn all the uh, different stuff that you need to learn for the job working for either FFE or KLLM out there with your trainer. But here they're just getting you through and getting you on the job. So um, pretty cool. Anyway, Sundays we do have off, so Sundays there is no school, so you can do your, um, just start studying because you're going to have to do pre-checks. You still have a bunch of stuff you got to study for to get your CDL, so um, there's a lot of stuff uh, that you got to cram in still, so take that time. Yes, there is homework. Hey, come on, I'm 52 years old. When's the last time I did freaking homework? You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, yeah, no, it's crazy, um, but uh, the school itself, so let's just talk a little bit about the school itself. Um, Meals, meals are paid for. Uh, your breakfast and your lunch uh, is paid for. If you're staying on site, then usually what they have left over for lunch is what you have for dinner. Um, so food, it's not horrible. Um, it isn't, you know, uh, Gordon Ramsay food, but um, there's some good stuff and it's just personal choice. Sometimes you don't like stew or sometimes you don't like this or something. And you know, you have uh, the option to go to Walmart and uh, I bought myself a little cooler and uh, you know I cannot live without my Diet Pepsi so uh, yeah endorsement for Diet Pepsi but anyway um, you go I bought a little cooler they have plenty of ice they have an ice machine it's open 24-7 uh, you go down there and fill up your ice I bought some lunch meat I bought some uh, cheese bought some drinks and then uh, snacks and all kinds of good stuff uh, to have in my room if I didn't feel like eating the same thing I wanted for lunch, I come up and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, make a you know turkey sandwich, whatever. Um, so you've got that availability there. But anyway, um, just really good. Uh, it's, it, most of it's really good. But anyway, they do take care of you here. 
Um, and on Monday, right after class, they do take you down to Walmart if you want to go. That's when you shop. It's only on Mondays. Uh, if you have a car here, obviously you can go anytime you want. I don't. So I just take the shuttle down, get what I need for the week, and bring it back to my dorm room. And what I can fit in my cooler and ice up, I do, and make it work. I'm living like a college student. Yeah. Uh, without the party, though. Anyway, um, so this place is just, uh, it's just been a great experience. Uh, just a wonderful experience. Um, man, I tell you what, this place is spotless. I'm talking spotless. Uh, you know, they have, what, 20, 30 people coming through here weekly. Um, a class starts every Monday. And then there's week two people in here. So there's 20, 30 people there sometimes. There's week three people. You know, there's 20, 30 people there. There's drivers coming in and out. There's uh, people coming in uh, off a of training. There's orientation. There's a ton of people going through here. I mean, a ton of people going through here. And these ladies that uh, clean here, man, hats off to them. This place is spotless. And uh, I used to own a uh, detail and cleaning business. Um, so I'm telling you that this is a high traffic area and it is just, it's well done. Well done. So kudos to the uh, uh, staff that work here. But uh, now they don't come into the room uh, on the weekends, so uh, you got to tidy up after yourself. But they do come in here every day. They change out sheets. They change out your towels. Uh, they clean everything. So um, even the cafeteria, just the outside, everything. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. So week one experience. I love it. I made the right choice. Um, not that any other school... Uh, it's different. I'm just going off of what I chose and uh, just coming to this school in Lancaster, Texas. Uh, it, it was a good deal. It was a good deal. I'm, I'm, pr I'm proud of it. Uh, I'm happy that I chose it. Um, the instructors, uh, heck man, they know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. Um, and man, it's been a lot of fun. A lot of serious goes on here, um, but it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun. Um, things they don't tolerate here. Phones out. They don't tolerate it. And you're driving a semi truck, you can't be on your phone anyway. Uh, so phones on the range, phones in classroom, no, they just do not tolerate it at all. So uh, you're gonna have to break that little habit right there if you're used to your phone and social media every 24 seconds. So um, being late, man, if you're gonna be late, you can't get up and be on time, you're not gonna make it here. Uh, they've sent people home for being late and missing school. So it's it's pretty serious. Uh, one thing they told us, and you gotta remember this. Um, we're not getting paid to be here at school. Um, we're doing this and whoever comes here is doing it on their own dime. Um, meaning they're not getting paid, uh, you know, uh, to take care of bills at home and stuff like that. So it's a job interview because you're not really hired yet either. Um, so think of this as a four week long or a 22 day, uh, job interview. They want to see if you're responding to what they're requesting. They want to see if you're following the rules. They want to see if you're on time. They want to see if you're clean and you're neat. You tidy up yourself. You take care of yourself. You take pride in what you look like. Um, all that is being watched and, and being looked at. Um, so if they, they want to hire you, they know what kind of person they're hiring. Pretty smart deal, to be honest with you. So, But anyway, Lancaster, Texas, KLLM, FFE Academy. I love it. If you're suggesting... Uh, or if you're trying to think of a place to come, uh, you know, they've got three throughout the country. Uh, it doesn't just have to be in Texas. I just happen to live here in Texas. Uh, I just happen to live here in Texas. I just happen to live here in Texas. I just happen to live here in Texas. Um, but uh, no, just a great, just a great opportunity. Um, and I'll give more in-depth videos about why I chose this company, uh, a KLM, uh, not FFE, I'm driving for KLLM, uh, why I'm doing it, and uh, different things like that. But anyway, I survived week one. I'll do week two if I survive that. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do week two here shortly. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you want to subscribe, again, I don't know where that's going to pop up. Or if it is, if I, I don't know. I'm going to have to ask my kids for that because I, I I'm just learning how to drive a truck. Damn it. Thank you for watching. I will have more videos coming up. Follow me along on this journey. I'll see you.